Hi, today I want to show you the assembly of the cruise ship box card from Simply Crafty SVGs. Now to begin with, I wanted to put together some panels, so I already put together the first panel up there of an insert piece. So we're just putting the backing here to make it black, so it's just easier to put it down and then kind of match it up. Shouldn't overlap over the top. And you see like those two. Pretty simple card. The hardest part is putting the inserts in. In the actual card. So this is one of the inserts. And we're going to add this to this insert. Before we actually put it in the card and assemble the card itself. It's just easier to do this now. and then we'll do the smaller one so there when you look at the card it goes from uh, the the first insert is shorter than the the, the um, second insert then of course the back is taller so it gets the effect of the front of a cruise ship then we'll add the panels to the back of that So it's fairly simple. There's a little bit. This this you would benefit by a little fine tip, either a zig pen or something, a fine tip applicator like this. And don't drop your panels on the glue. Fortunately, it didn't get a place. It, it went on the back side. Or I would have had to recut it. It's not the first time, won't be the last time. That one's ready, and then um, we're just going to get this ready to put on. This is the front. So you just want to carefully match it up. Kind of ma match up the edges first, and then the top, and just kind of run my fingers around to get it centered. I have fa fast drying glue, so um, if I don't it completely get it centered at first, then um, it's not a big deal. And I like to ink around the edges anyway, so it kind of hides if there's any kind of overlap if I have a black background. Add this top little panel to the top. So this will get, go in the front of the card. Just match it up to the shape on the top there. Okay, then we're going to add the, the panels to the front of the card, fr front section. So that goes smack in the middle and it covers the whole front bottom there match the edge and these two side ones um, go in the center so I apologize for the lighting that you're seeing um, I had a fan going um, which I didn't realize was affecting the video so that's why you're kind of seeing kind of a fluctuation in light because it actually moved it was moving a hanging fluorescent light anyways so now we're gonna attach the front to the back here. So we want to line up that edge to the tab fold and then we just do the same here. So just fold it over and then it should match up or that edge matches up. So you see how it flattens and you want to make sure you flatten it both sides. And I got a little glue on the front, but I'm going to be covering that with the cruise ship, so I got lucky there. So now we're going to put this larger panel in. We did it afterwards because it kind of overlaps the tabs inside. So you're going to carefully slide it in and then match it with the shape on the back of the card. And then I kind of put my fingers there to make sure I get it in the right place. So now we'll add the inserts. So we'll start with the front one. We want to fold the tabs backward then forwards because we'll be gluing them with the tabs facing forward. And this is just so it gets the right depth. So we want to glue just one side, I would say, to start with. Flip in that other tab. Kind of place it just right under the edge there. And you want to attach it to that 
right side piece or left whichever one you start with and making sure that the tab the front of the tab is touching the front of the box so you can use something like a utensil like this to apply pressure or you could reach up from the bottom of the box to, to do the same thing I think it's easier to reach up from the bottom than it is the top and then I'm going to add glue to the second tab and do the same you want to match it across and again you can apply pressure this time I'm using my finger from within once you get it in place where it needs to be just flatten it and apply pressure that way on the tabs to get them secured I'm trying to show you what it looks like from the top these are the smallest tabs I've ever done on a box card. I just thought it looked good. The depth wasn't really deep. It stands up and it gets the effect I wanted to do for this cruise card. So I just added glue on both sides and make sure they're folded back. Again, that's for spacing. And then I'm just arranging them so they are a little bit below the edge on the top edge of that side and that the ends are aligned or touching the back of the card as close as possible so we get the dimension when you're looking at it from the front and the depth and I'm reaching from below and once you get it set in place just flatten it apply pressure and that'll make sure that those are adjusted if for some reason they're a little askewed then we'll just add that front panel the front of the ship and we will get Go ahead and just align, align it with the shape on the front of the card. And this is just a, a reason I love cruising. Um, I haven't done it in a while, but it's kind of the I usually go in September when I go. So I thought it'd be fun to do a cruise card. I've always wanted to do one. I want to do a 3D one too. So in the future, look for that. Then I'm just adding the second of the two anchors that I included with the file. Add, add a little piece of twine for just a little look. And you can add that little piece if you don't have a white background or if you want a different color, glitter paper. And then I add the back uh, message panel, which is optional. You could just write on the back if you wanted to, or you don't. some people don't write on the cards at all. And then I just had that last little piece I used a foam tape to for this little water panel and that's going to complete the card. I think it would be a fun thing. We also have a little Bon Voyage print and cut file that's optional if you want to do that. I enjoyed this project. I hope you did and thank you so much for watching.